Peace, fam. It's me, Dr. Kalelu, back at you live with another video. On this uh, video, we're going to be talking a little bit about um, generational wealth, family trust, and uh, notary public business. Now, um, happy Wednesday to everybody. Happy uh, hump day, Wednesday. Hope you all are getting through your day um, with positive vibes, okay? Now, family trust. A lot of people... A lot of individuals, especially black families, you know, they don't know what a trust is. And when they buy a house, you know, when you buy a house, let's say you pay off your mortgage, right? Let's say you owe a zero down, uh, zero balance on your mortgage, which means the home is yours. Now, when you do that, it's um, very smart of you to put your house in a family trust. Therefore, you can grant the property to one of your children or somebody in your family that you trust a lot. Now I'm going to show you guys what a trust looks like because my mom, she had one. She has one and she also helped my grandmother set up her family trust. Um, when I was born, a year later, my mom created the Kamara Family Trust. So my mom built generational wealth for me when I was only one years old, she set it up. So much respect to my mom for that. So I'm gonna show you guys. This is what a this is what a trust looks like right here. Um, I got this made through Heritage Financial Services. As you can see, this is their phone number right here. This is their website and their phone number. Heritage Financial Services. They do a lot of uh, you know uh, trust related um, business, and this is. Um, created by a lawyer. So can nobody steal um, my mom's property? She did good. She got a, um, she did good for herself. You know, she um, definitely created some generational wealth within the family. And I'm very appreciative for her, to her for that because it's very difficult out here for us as, um, you know, uh, as they consider African-Americans, but we know we have a nationality. Now, like I was saying, when my grandmother died, it caused a lot of chaos and confusion in the family. I had a couple uncles that were living at the property. My mom and her sisters, they had to take my uncles to court. They had to evict them from my grandmother's house. They didn't want to move. But luckily, my grandmother had a trust created because like I was telling you, my mom helped her create a trust, you know, when she created her trust. So when my grandmother passed away, rest in peace to my grandmother, in 2015, you know, because a trust was established, they did not have to go to probate court, okay? Now, when you have to go to probate court, that means the government is getting involved in your affairs, in your family affairs, and they have to decide who the property rightfully belongs to. But when you have a trust like this right here, when you have a trust like this right here, you don't have to get the government involved in your affairs because all of your affairs have already been established and it's certified by a notary public, you know? And the trust is usually written by lawyers, you know? So um, it's a very powerful document and it can prevent um, many homes from losing their value, you know, creates generational wealth. So it's definitely a benefit and you could probably get a trust written up for like $1,500. You know, and the trust also deals with the spiritual concept called ma'at. Because if you know anything about ma'at, the first principle of ma'at is trust. So trust, truth, or truth. Truth and trust go together, you know, and ma'at also deals with the law. So you know that our spiritual concepts are related to having a trust. So when you purchase a home and your home is uh, paid off, you know, you want to create a family trust. That's very important so you can build generational wealth. And like I said, my eye deals with justice, the law, truth. So you know that my eye correlates with this, okay? Now, what else did I want to talk about? Um, oh, free will, okay? Now, the trust is also referred to as a will, you know? Now, I had some, a little bit of family problems where um, the trust was stolen, you know? My mom's trust was stolen, and I had to get a new one, you know? And it took me, it was very challenging to try and get a new one. So once you get this document, once you get this trust document, make sure you put it in a safe and secure place where nobody can steal it because 
it can cause a lot of trouble. Like people want to take something that they know is valuable, and that trust document is very valuable. So, um, if you ever need any notary services, you can look me up online at www.kalelunotary.com. You know, and I'm a mobile notary also, so I can meet you wherever you're at, and you know, I can offer my services to you. So, that was just a quick um, lesson I wanted to give on you know, building generational wealth, you know, and we need to look out for our elders too because when they, um, you know, reach a certain age, they need some assistance, you know, they're going to need our, our love and support genuinely because it's going to be a lot of people out there that try and take advantage of our elders, you know, and we have to prevent that because we are the next generation, we are the leaders of the future. I definitely consider myself a leader. So on top of houses, I do notary. And I am uh, the trustee for my family, you know, so I have a lot of responsibility at hand. Now, I do want to throw in there also that uh, if you're not a buyer or a seller for a home, I can also represent you as an investor. You know, it's a lot of investors buying up foreclosed properties, people that have, um, people that have, you know, uh, failed to make their mortgage payments and are losing their homes. They can uh, either go through a short sale or I do have a team of investors that will buy up the property and um, take your real estate burdens off your hands. So investors, you know, contact me. I'm Dr. Kalelu, and this has been a quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for some more videos. I'm going to be giving some business advice. This is um, a song off of my new album, The Prophecy. You know, it's called Meditation Music. And um, as you can see, I'm trying to stay professional. You know, I'm doing these videos, trying to connect more with the people. So, yeah, let's build that generational wealth. Hopefully, one day I can do, I can return the favor and do the same thing my mom did for me. How she set me up for success with this family trust. You know, which is related to my eye. You know, we relate that spiritually. And um, like I said, you can contact Heritage Financial Services for. You know more information. Now this is Dr. Kalele giving you guys some insight for the day. If you need a notary, if you need a realtor, or if you need assistance with your um, trust, you know that's definitely going to benefit you and your family in the future. So I'm signing off. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.